Hello, my Virgo family. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly tarot reading for you, Virgo, for August 31st through September 6th. Thank you for joining me today. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe and join me each and every day for my quick glance daily readings. This week, I am using the Tarot Grand Lux deck by Ciro Marchetti, and as always, the Eternal Crystals Oracle Cards by Jade Sky. Now, always a reminder, these are general readings. Now, for the Virgos that desire a more personalized reading, click on my website link below. So let's get started and see what your cards are indicating this week. And starting with your first card, Virgo, you have the Eight of Wands. Okay, Virgo. Well, this is one of my favorite Eight of Wands cards in any of the decks. Because this card has the wands coming directly at you. There's no way that this energy is going to miss you this week. The Eight of Wands indicates something is going to be coming into your life very quickly. This card usually indicates rapid communication, things being set in motion, very intense energy, Virgo. And possibly anything that's currently standing in your way will be resolved very quickly and in ways that you're happy with. Now, certainly for some Virgos, the Eight of Wands showing up is because you're rushing into something. And if this rapid action you're taking is in regards to your ultimate goals, then it's the right thing to do. But for some Virgos, ask yourself why you're rushing into something before you actually commit. Because the Eight of Wands energy, when set in motion, is really hard to stop. Now, for some Virgos, and this is the first thing that I felt with this card, is romance is going to be coming in, and it's going to be very passionate. This is going to be the love at first sight and being swept off your feet kind of energy. This is Sagittarius's energy with this card, and it brings that kind of passion with it. This can be a relationship. This can be a project you're working on. This is the wand energy. So this is something that you feel very passionate about, Virgo. This could be possibly going after a certain job or career. And this is putting your ideas into action. And the Eight of Wands is associated with the planet Mercury, so this can have a lot to do with communication. And the number eight energy of this card is abundance. It's rewards and power and influence. So let's see what the rest of your cards are indicating. And taking a look at your next card, you have the King of Cups. So Virgo, start looking for a Scorpio to come across your path this week because this King of Cups card is Scorpio's card. And this might be the individual that will be showing up quickly and you might be getting a relationship with him. Now remember, the Knight of Cups is one of the most romantic of the court cards. And now this is the King of Cups. He has grown. He's more experienced. He knows how to handle his emotions. He's not all over the place with his feelings like the Knight of Cups is. Now, this would be a good person to hook up with, Virgo. This is someone who is emotionally mature. He is very thoughtful and an understanding listener. He gives good advice. This is an extremely caring person who has a big heart and usually makes a wonderful husband and father. 
He loves art and all beautiful things, and he's very imaginative. Now, the only thing you might notice about the King of Cups is that he seems a little bit emotionally detached, but that's only because he's calm and mature, not because he doesn't care. Now, what else I'm picking up is this could also be another water sign. This could be a cancer for some of you. That's what I'm picking up. A cancer individual could be coming in as well for some of you. And you will know him when you see him, Virgo. He is very charming. He makes you feel welcome and accepted. So starting a relationship with the King of Cups could be on the horizon for you. Now for other Virgos who are possibly in a relationship and you're very happy with that, the King of Cups can be showing up because you need some advice. And this could be in the workplace. This could be at home. This could be in regards to something you're working on. And the King of Cups is a wonderful counselor and advisor. This is someone who could possibly be an attorney or some other kind of advisor or mediator. This could be the person that's in your HR department in the workplace. Certainly, it could be your boss. And on the home front, this could be that family member that's very easy to talk to. Makes you feel right at home, and you just spill your guts to this individual. So you might be needing some advice from the King of Cups in regards to maybe your Eight of Wands card. Now, this is a general reading, so this could be different for everyone as to what the Eight of Wands is bringing in. Taking a look at your next card, the Page of Wands. He's showing up again, Virgo. Now, both your wand cards here are acting like bookends with the King of Cups right in the middle. Very fiery energy surrounding a water sign. So this could definitely be a new idea or some kind of inspiring news coming in. You could be starting a new project or going off on a new adventure. Now the pages of the courts are the known messengers and your reading is showing messages coming in on either side of the King of Cups. And since this is wand energy surrounding you this week, it's something you're very passionate about. For some of you, this could be your business and the Eight of Wands could indicate your business is really going to be taking off now. And it might have something to do with the King of Cups. Remember, that's a water sign coming in. There could be new ideas, possibly from the King of Cups, in regards to your business, Virgo. New ways in how to market your business. And the Page of Wands has to do with the navel chakra. That's your solar plexus. And yes, of course, it is the element of fire. It's your will and determination. So whatever it is this week, Virgo, that you're wanting to set out to do, you're going to do it. And you might be getting advice from the King of Cups, or you might be hooking up with the King of Cups. Either way, you've got something coming in quickly, something very passionate and very exciting. Now, your three-card spread adds up to number 10, which reduces down to number one. And this is new pursuits. This is something new and fresh coming into you, Virgo. You're starting off with one of the best Eight of Wands out there, with the Wands coming directly at you. That is divine light in the background sending this to you. And this is something that you're very passionate about. It is coming in very quickly for you. And the King of Cups could be someone you're going to for advice or guidance, or it could be the love of your life that you're meeting this week. Possibly a water sign, a Scorpio or a Cancer individual. And the Page of Wands is once again in your reading as it was last week. And he could be bringing in exciting good news. 
or it could be exciting new ideas coming in. And with the fact that your numerology here is number one, this is definitely the start of something new. And it's very positive energy coming in. Now let's take a look and see which crystal your angels and guides have selected for you this week. <laughs> fluorite. Okay. And I do have my fluorite here. Wonderful wonderful crystal and I'm not surprised that this is the crystal for three reasons the crystal fluoride is for focus that's number one number two it does have to do with your third eye chakra that's your intuition and three this has got to do with your spirit guides so the crystal fluoride is being suggested for you, Virgo, for this week to let you know you're protected by your guides in the spirit world. And this crystal helps you to enhance your intuition as it is associated with your third eye chakra. So it's time this week for you to totally trust your intuition and trust in your spirit guides with what they're bringing into you this week. They will never let you down or lead you astray. This week, connecting with your spirit guides can help you to access a higher source of wisdom and guidance. And if you haven't connected with your spirit guides before, it's not difficult, but you do need patience with the process in learning how to hear them. It can take some time to learn how to hear your spirit guides. It might seem as it's your own voice, and they might send you messages which will come as physical signs. You might feel goosebumps or your ears might be ringing. And often there can be signs and signals outdoors through animals that you see. And you can always look up the meaning to whatever you come across. Repetitive numbers are a favorite of theirs. <laughs> so Virgo, I would be sure to have this crystal fluorite this week. This is something really exciting and important coming in. For some of you, you're going to be finding the love of your life this week. It's going to be a water sign, either Cancer or Scorpio. And for other Virgos, it could be in regards to your career or business. Good things are coming in for you this week. So be sure to have the crystal fluorite and connect with spirit on a daily basis so that you don't miss any signs or signals this week. Trust in your guides, Virgo. Now, I leave you with the message of the cards, Virgo, but it is all within your own hands because you decide your own destiny, Virgo. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. Love and abundance to my Virgo family.